Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about like the top 10 comforts that you would use during a grid down situation, either for your own personal prep um, or even to barter with. And <clears throat> it was kind of interesting. So I reached out to a few different people and got uh, their opinions and I came up with what I feel is a really great list and uh, I even have a bonus one at the end for you. Okay, so let's get started. So if you're in a grid down situation, um, everybody knows you gotta have food and water um, and some medical supplies. You know, you've got all your, your standard things that you need, but eventually you may come to a point where there's some things that you would really crave. And I like to use the example, so um, we've been re-watching The Walking Dead and I think it was in season 9 or 10 with the highwaymen and Carol was able to bribe the highwaymen by simply offering them something that they didn't have which was a movie and I thought that was really cool all of a sudden them guys are like yeah I'll do whatever you want uh, and then later on uh, they had one of the whispers and she offered them like all these different flavors of jams and jellies on a piece of bread um so thinking like that and how hard it would be when you're you know if you were to go for a very extended time you may get really desperate for certain things so with that in mind i uh got this list compiled okay number one is booze and alcohol Boo booze slash alcohol um because you you know a lot of people uh can use it for multiple purposes besides uh getting drunk um but it can also be used in making tinctures uh for medicines and for disinfectant so there's a lot of good things that come can come about from that number two would be smokes now um i don't dr really drink and i don't smoke but you know when you come to a point where you're in a situation like that who knows maybe you'll just need it <laughs> um so number three yarn now it was a little bit of a different one and yarn i can i get it you know you can make a lot of things and eventually you know blankets and stuff they wear out it would give your hand something to do if it was kind of an intense time and help maybe calm somebody um, and it's a good skill that you could at that point be passing on to you know the kids and whatnot to learn how to do so uh, and of course keeping warm with it so yarn is a good one okay so going on to number four a uh, little bit different but a uh, chapstick and mascara now it was funny because I was talking to John about this and he goes, who cares? Like at that point, nobody's going to be doing it anyway. I agree with you to one aspect, but there's another side of it. So, you know, if you've ever been out like camping for a long weekend or just out doing something, your lips get really chapped and they just hurt. And I think in a situation like that, it would probably feel good to guys and gals just to have some kind of moisture on your lips. But also for the mascara part, you know, a female not having uh <laughs> like any kind of beauty products for an extended amount of time if you were, let's just total example it if you were two years in to a total collapse and you gave a female mascara she would probably like run and hide with it because I mean it would be something that she hadn't had in so long and it would probably make her feel really really great so uh, yes we're gonna have that on the list okay moving on next we have socks now I felt like socks was a really important one you wear them out in your boots they eventually are gonna get holes in them we all know the elastic that goes around them uh, can fail uh, and so socks would be a really great thing and a fairly easy one to stock up. I know for those of you that have a Fred Meyer, they always have that huge sock sale um, in December every year for the holidays and stuff. Um, but socks would be an easy one to stock up on. Uh, the next one would be toenail clippers. 
Now, toenail clippers can, they, they, you know, they have a little different shape from the toenail versus the fingernail, but you can bend them around this. But if you're wearing boots all the time, it would be so super easy to get a, some kind of nail infection, a hangnail. Um, there's a lot of things and it gets uncomfortable when you have, you know, really long toenails and you're shoving them into boots. So I definitely would put toenail clippers on the list. Uh, next, we're going to go in to one that I kind of lumped together and that's going to be for the babies. So I'm talking um, baby wipes, diapers, and formula. Uh, you could do all three, you could pick one, but something in the baby category um, because parents will do darn or anything to help their little ones. So those would be something that um, would probably be a great commodity and I know that we do already have a baby uh, formula shortage, uh, shortage so I really wouldn't advise you to kind of really stock up on that but um, if you have the ability to get uh, the like the little mini canning jars and you could potentially make up um, some baby food or at least have the jars ready so you can make up baby food later on uh, but diapers and wipes those are something that's pretty easy to come by and I haven't seen really any shortages on those so that would be my next suggestion um, and then moving on from there would be an antifungal so <clears throat> Again, reverting back to the boots, uh, you know, like it, it, your, your feet may be wet. You're probably not using a boot dryer. Uh, and so you could build up fungal on your feet, on other body parts, uh, even as far as like a diaper rash for a kiddo. Uh, so uh, an anti antifungal creams could really offer somebody some extreme relief and maybe something to stock up on. Number nine. So for nine, it is toothpaste, toothbrushes, and floss. You know, um, if you're somebody that doesn't brush your teeth all the time, maybe it wouldn't be such a big deal. But if for the average person that keeps up on their oral hygiene, you know, having a piece of meat that gets stuck in the back can be super annoying. And um, just not having those clean teeth and honestly, without great dental care, um, your teeth, if you don't have your teeth, you can't eat. I mean, it's just a downward effect. I mean, eventually you're just not gonna be around anymore. So having really great teeth is important. Having dental products on hand that you could give out in a barter situation may be um, very promising to somebody else, you know? So like I said, these are comfort items that could be used not only for the barter, but as a comfort to somebody to make them feel good. Okay, moving on. Number 10 is spices. Yes, spices. So you can go to a lot of like natural stores. They have the little bags, you know, the little tiny bags with the um, little twist ties you can put on them. And you can get spices f really cheap that way. Or you can just go and buy some, you know, when they're, if you see them on sale. But in a situation like that, people are going to be eating a lot of the same foods and having some spice brought in, uh, I think would go a long ways. You know, some pepper uh, would be huge. Obviously salt, salt can be used for so many things. Uh, taco seasoning and garlic. I, there's a lot of really great ones out there. So just stocking up on some spices. I think um, that was even, um, kind of like in biblical times and it, the spices have always been trade. So I think it, it would be a really dynamic one to have to your preps. You can also uh, put up little packs and throw an oxygen absorber in them and vacuum seal them and put them in a bucket. Um, and that way you've got them and you could literally just have them tucked away and not have to worry about them at all. So uh, that was number 10. So now we want to go on to a bonus one that John threw at me last night. Um, and it was actually a really great idea. So our number 10 bonus, or our, I'm sorry, our number 11 bonus is a uh, big heavy duty black uh, trash bags. Now he's thinking like the carpenter's bags or 
Um, you could use like lawn and leaf bags. John was telling me that in the trades, a lot of times the guys will just cut a hole in the bag and pull it over their clothes so they don't get soaking wet if their other clothes were still wet from the day before when they're working on the road. You can use it for water catchment. You can cover your wood. You can cover a generator. You could cover a chicken coop with it if you open it up. You could protect stuff. I mean, there's a million uses for trash bags and I don't mean your generic kitchen white bags but the big the thicker big black ones is really the ones that uh, would be a good uh, thing to have on hand and can be used for so many things literally so many things he was just going off and off and off and off on what they can be used for so you've got 10 items one bonus item these are some great things that you could tuck away now that we're really just buttoning down everything um so i highly encourage you to get it. if you have any ideas or anything i didn't think of i would love to hear what you have because that way we can kind of feed off of each other throw it in the comments below and uh let's see what we can build together all right guys thank you so much for watching have a really great rest of your day take care